In this exercise, we're going to create a select query that has totals and gets the data from two different tables. So continuing on from our previous exercise, we now have that query we created earlier. We're going to create a second query. So we go back to create, query design, choose the tables that we're going to be getting our data from. And this time we're going to choose tours. So double click tours and then double click sales. And then that's all we need. So you click close. So now we've got two tables here. And as you can see, there's a relationship between them through this foreign key tour number. Okay. The tour number is a foreign key in the sales table and it's a primary key in the tours table. So uh, we double click the fields that we need. So from tours, we're going to need category. We're going to need uh, tour name tour start date, city, state abbreviation, and from um, the sales table, we need sales number and price. Uh, price also comes from the tour table. Okay, so here we have our um, fields, but what we really want is the um, number of bookings. So we want to count the sales number and we want the total revenue. So we want to sum the price. Now in order to add totals, you'll see over here we have field, table, sort, show, criteria, or. We don't really have anything for totals. So up here you've got to click this uh, um, show hide column total. So now we're going to, so, so now we're going to click totals here. And once we've clicked totals, that row appears here and you'll see that it says group by. Okay. So the first five fields we wanted to be grouped by, but for sales number, we're going to say here count because we want to count the number of bookings. And for price, we're going to sum. All right. And uh, now that we've set up, uh, another thing we want to do is we want to sort in a descending order of the um, price. So for price here, you've got sort the fourth row, select descending here. Okay. And now we click run. And so now you're going to see um, for each category, for each tour, we can show the category, the tour start date, uh, the city and the state from which the tour is going to originate. And then here we have number of bookings. Um, the name of the title is a little awkward, sales number of count. Here we have price of sum, but uh, no worries. We can change that later when we use this query as the input to a report. So this is an illustration of how you can create a select query uh, using fields from two tables linked by a foreign key and uh, using by adding totals to some of the columns here and sorting it in descending order. Now, since we're done with this query, we're going to right click on the tab and click save. And we're going to save it under a name tour summary. And now the query appears here. So when we close this, we can double click and run it again.